The Israelis have been very specific. They have said this is a truce period. Before it starts, hostilities will continue. And very specifically, once this pause is over, the war will restart. Is that useful in negotiations, that sort of language? Uh, our work is not done. We're still going to continue to talk more to the, to the parties, to de-escalate, to seek a longer period of the ceasefire. The Israelis are not talking about a ceasefire at this point. They have categorically ruled out a ceasefire until all hostages are released. And at present, you are not mediating any talks on the soldiers or men being held by Hamas. Well, listen, Becky, the, the, even the temporary ceasefire was not been considered in the early times by the Israelis. Mm. So we still, we remain hopeful. That, and, and our effort is not going to stop at this level. Uh, our work is not done. We're going to continue working with both sides, hoping that we can secure this bigger objective. If there are families of hostages watching this interview today, families of hostages who are young men of serving age, what is your message about the likelihood that those Israeli soldiers will be released anytime soon? So we're, we're doing everything that we can uh, as soon as the, both parties want to keep uh, uh, seeking uh, Qatar's assistance in mediating, we're going to respond positively to that request. So we know that our mission did not finish and our work is continuous for, for the better cause. And as you said, our hope is really that we see a period where we can put an end to this war and let the people leave and uh, reduce this uh, humanitarian suffering that for the people in Gaza.